Four weeks ago, I installed a new package of bees, and if you watched last week's hive inspection, you'd know that I saw about 10,000 capped over brood cells. Today, I want to do another hive inspection, and I'll be looking for three things primarily. Firstly, can I spot the queen? Which is always nice to be able to do, since the queen is the heart of the colony. Secondly, I had smashed some extra wax onto a frame last week, and I want to see what the bees did with it, out of curiosity. And lastly, I want to see if the capped brood we saw last week has hatched yet. But before we open up this hive, I want to talk about what we are seeing right now. What you're looking at might appear to some that the bees are swarming because there's a lot of bees flying around and making quite a bit of noise. However, if you look closely, you can see that all the bees flying around are looking at the hive, and if we look at the hive entrance, I don't see bees pouring out like we normally would with a swarm. This tells me that what we're actually witnessing is a lot of bees doing orientation flights. Hopefully, these are brand new bees that have hatched in the last couple of days and will bolster this hive's ability to build comb and collect pollen and nectar. Bees do these orientation flights later in the afternoon, and they spend about 20 minutes looking at the hive from different angles. These flights help the bees to find the hive later after they go foraging, and it's important not to move the hive too much after the bees are oriented because they might not be able to find the hive again, even if you only move it a few feet away. Anyways, I'm really curious to see what's going on inside the hive, so let's crack it open. I start by removing the lid, and it looks like the bees have been drinking some of the sugar water that I left for them. My guess is that since it's been so hot the last week with no rain, they've been thirsty and don't have enough nectar stored up to be able to get all of their hydration. I then remove the spacer box and the feeder board and proceed to give the bees some smoke. The smoke helps to keep the bees calm and move them further down into the box. I then remove the first two frames on the end, which have not been developed by the bees yet. I do this so that I have some extra room to maneuver the frames in the hive. And I put these frames on the frame holder, which is attached to the hive stand. Next. I take a look at the green drone comb, which I installed two weeks ago. If you want to know more about this green drone comb and what it's for, check out the video in the card. The bees haven't done anything with it yet, and that's fine for now. I'll also take it out for now to make some extra space. The fourth frame, which is the first one that the bees have developed, is starting to get pretty heavy. Usually, a heavy frame means it's got a lot of nectar or honey, and I do see a lot of nectar on this frame. The top part of it has even been capped off and turned into honey, which is really awesome. The less developed side of this frame is where I smashed the extra wax on, and it looks like the bees have taken the wax and turned it into the start of some nice comb. It's good to know that the bees will make good use of extra wax that I add for them. This next frame is where I saw the queen last week, and I'll take a second to see if I can spot her now. I don't see her after a quick scan, but I do see some capped over honey as well as some capped over brood cells. It looks like there are more capped brood cells than last week, which is a good sign that the colony is going to have a lot of new bees very soon. At this point, I take a second to smoke the bees as there are a lot of bees here today. I'm doing this inspection a little later in the afternoon, which isn't ideal because there are a lot more bees home and it can make the hive a little more reactive when there are more bees. On the sixth frame, I've noticed that the bees have done a good job gluing the frames together. Bees use a special substance called propolis, which is very sticky, that they collect from different plants. They use this material to seal off cracks, and it also acts as an antimicrobial and can keep the colony healthier, so it's a good thing that the bees are producing it, even if it makes hive inspections a little more annoying. Last week, I saw that this frame was completely covered in capped over brood, and it looks like it still is, so these bees haven't emerged yet. I also saw that the bees had built some more wax on the bottom of the frame, and I'll leave it alone this week. 
I expect this brood to hatch within the next week, since they've been capped over for seven days already. When they do hatch, the colony will really take off, as this will be the first big wave of new recruits. I still don't see the queen after some careful scanning, so I'll move on to the next frame. On the seventh frame, I'm seeing still more capped over brood, but at this point, the bees are beginning to lose patience with me. They've started to buzz around my face a lot, and unfortunately, I've run out of smoke because I didn't pack enough fuel in my smoker. I put the frame back and step back to assess the situation. I figure there are only a couple more frames to go and the bees have calmed down a little bit while I thought, so I'll quickly try to look at the last frames. The eighth frame is chock full of bees and I see a lot of young larvae and eggs on this comb. That means the queen might be nearby too, but I still don't see her. I also noticed a fair bit of pollen and honey on this frame, which the bees will need to continue to feed the developing larva. Moving on to the ninth frame, I see some more pollen and nectar, but I don't see any more eggs or larva, and after a minute of looking, I still don't see the queen, so I decide to wrap up this inspection and give the bees a much deserved break. Even though I didn't find the queen today, I know that she's probably fine since I saw freshly laid eggs, and all things considered, the hive is doing really well. I expect that next week, a lot of brood will have hatched, and we'll have tons of bees in the colony, so look out for that update. If you liked this video, or you want to see more like it, I publish an update every week, so consider subscribing, hitting that like button, or leaving a comment down below. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next week.